illustration or animation? Dude, that's a hard one. Illustration or animation? Illustration. Illustration, animation. Um, I am into illustration. Illustration or animation? Uh, I would choose illustration. Illustration or animation? Oh, animation. Whoa! For sure. Illustration or animation? <laughs> no, not this. Um, illustration or animation? Animation. 100%. <laughs> Illustration animation. If you'd asked me a year ago, it was illustration, because I was illustration all the way. Yeah. But now it's animation. Illustration or animation? Illustration. Illustration or animation? <laughs> illustration. <laughs> Easy. Illustration or animation? <laughs> illustration. <laughs> illustration or animation? I have to say animation immediately. Animation? Uh, yeah, oh my yeah. god! Illustration or animation? Illustration, hands down. Whoa, that was so fast. Dead. Illustration or animation? Illustration. Illustration or animation? Yeah, of course, illustration. Illustration or animation? You know, Illustration. I started uni thinking I was definitely going to go into animation. Like, I literally applied to animation everywhere else. But now I think my heart is in illustration. Illustration or animation? Illustration. Illustration or animation, go. Definitely illustration, I feel like. Illustration or animation? I think I have a bit of a bias just because of how hard animation is. So I'm going to probably say illustration, illustration, but I wish I could answer animation. Illustration or animation? <laughs> Why did you do this to me? <laughs> illustration or animation? Illustration. Illustration or animation? Animation. <gasps> How do you make friends? It's just all about being yourself, you know. Um, I have been to many a places and many a schools and I've had to make friends many a time. And sometimes I was successful and sometimes I wasn't. But it's just about putting yourself out there a little bit and just be in your genuine self, I think. Just find people, just say hi. Just say hi. <laughs> just go up to, should I go up to that person and say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. I think, you know, as I was saying before, people like authenticity mm -hmm. and they like when you are easy to read. I think if you're kind of rigid or you're trying to like fit into something people can just genuinely tell um and they just kind of don't like it maybe it's not even conscious maybe it's subconscious but i think it's just about yeah being yourself and also putting yourself out there because if you don't you just won't meet people it's tough that bit's the toughest part i'd say but it's an important part um yeah that's it just about being yourself confident you're probably cool and fun <laughs> and i think you know people will see that yeah do you want to make friends with me do you want to be friends <laughs> yes <laughs> really yeah do you want to be friends <laughs> the best friend <laughs> yeah oh my gosh yay <laughs> yeah i mean Giacomo is the most nicest guy on this course and he's also the most popular so, so... true i'm Oh my gosh, I'm both of those things. Yeah, he's the nicest the and the most popular. So he's got all the friends. I got all the friends. So if you want to be like Giacomo, you got to be genuine. Yeah, and you have to, but you have to be nice because I'm not be actually nice. nice. Take everything I said as it was a lie because I'm evil. <laughs> and I lie to make friends. Kill him, kill him with kindness. Kill him with kindness. Kill him with kindness. Yeah, that's my advice for friendship. Friendship is lovely. Yeah. And it is okay. Friendship is magic. And also, friendship takes time. I'll say that. Friendship takes time, man. Yeah. You gotta um, sometimes trust. Sometimes you go somewhere and you're like, it's like the first month and you're like, I haven't made any friends. And it's like, yeah, that's just normal. I didn't make any friends on this course really until, I didn't like settle in until like January. Um, and I find that for a lot of people. So, yeah. You know, 
Give it time. Give it time. It's time, man. Time, time heals all wounds. <laughs> <laughs> if you mix yellow and blue together, oh, what sake. color do you get? <laughs> Purple. Is that is that a is that a color method? You get green, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay yeah. Yellow and blue, you get green. Okay. Is that green? Yeah, green. Green. Yeah. You said purple. No, no, then no, no. no. I, 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 I thought, I thought, I thought it's like it's red and the blue. Holly's answer's green. It's green. I'm locking it in. Green. She's locked it in. No, yellow and green. Yellow and green. Huh? No, yellow and green. <laughs> <laughs> you mix yourself. The answer is purple, guys. Blue Martin, don't watch this video. Big Eye Martin. <laughs> Gentle Martin can watch this video. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need an iPad for art school? No. I'm more of a traditional artist and I hate digital. I'd say it is quite useful to have mm -hmm. Photoshop and InDesign and stuff on your laptop. Yeah. But I feel like I don't draw digitally and I feel like... Yeah there's enough Macs and computers around mm -hmm. that you don't have to have one. I don't think you do. I, <laughs> I mean, if you want to do more more digital stuff, it does make your life easier, I would say. Yeah. Because it's more accessible, but you can also like just um, you know, borrow resources from uni and stuff. So mm -hmm. I'd say it's not like completely necessary. It kind yeah. of depends on like what your interests are. Yeah. Um, I did kind of get a laptop with a touch screen before the course because I thought I might be doing a few, I knew it was animation, I knew I thought I'd be doing it or not doing it but doing more hand drawn animation and stuff but I haven't really used the touch screen at all so yeah. I wouldn't say so at all. I mean I think in our course we do a lot of like analogue animation, mm. any like proper like pen, pencil, mm. like with traditional media so we don't actually do that much digital animation. I think that's more of like a personal choice. What's your favorite color? <laughs> uh, I like blue and white. Blue and white. Yeah. Is there a reason why or you just really like? I think it's just a, like simple of calm mm -hmm. and uh, I don't like really colorful colors. colors. What is my favorite color? Guys, can you like mm -hmm. guess what? Vicky's favorite color is. I don't know. It's I, I'm, mm. you know, I like the 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 darker tones. Maybe black. Maybe um, maybe gray. Actually. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it it's it's blue by it's the way. It's blue. Guys. Blue every <laughs> single day. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, look at what you're wearing, guys. Like, look at this. People always, I always get like strangers, they always get like, do you dress like this every day? And I go, yeah, I've got no choice. I have my wardrobe and it's like full of blue. Coming into uni once and I was wearing like green and someone asked me like if I was okay. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And they were like, you're not wearing blue, Vicky. It's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> do you like what you're studying and why? I do like it. I do because uh, in my uni I study fine art, mm -hmm. but I'm more focused on illustration, so that's why I'm in illustration here. Mm -hmm. you guys. I like how there's like so many of us and so many different styles and everything, and our tutors, especially in second year. I love second year, guys. I love second year. It, it rules. Um, the tutors are very like they really care what we're like doing and stuff, and like. Insert tutor. Yeah. <laughs> insert. Search, we got Laura, insert tutors. Um, we like. I love Laura so much. Like, oh, yes. first year, second year, she is like mother. I love her to pieces. She's so lovely. I love, I love you, her Laura. Pieces. I love Rachel. Yeah. Oh yeah, Rachel. I love Rachel too. I love Mariam too. She's even though she's scary at first, she gives really really good advice and she's so insightful. And that's why I like kind of love. Sometimes I'm like a bit insecure. Like, oh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Give me some advice, and they're like. I got you, girl. I got you. And then I'm like, oh, I feel so like heard and seen. And that's what, yeah, I just feel very safe in this course, basically. Aww. It's awesome here. What a wholesome answer. And the people here too. Yay! How, how much would you rate this course out of 10? You can be honest. Um, I would give it a seven. As a course, like eight. 
Well, maybe even nine. Ooh. Maybe like six. Six? Yeah. Okay. It's six or seven. Six and six. a half. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's better than, because I went to like other art schools and stuff, like for my foundation year and stuff. Yeah. And to be honest, this place is a lot better than them. I guess it's like a lot more personal and like the facilities are really good. Um, yeah. Well, I guess the facilities are good, like if you're doing like 2D printing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you're like doing 3d animation then it's absolute not, mm-hmm. not good it's but bad. then there are like things about the university in general that i'm like a bit less mm. like um accessibility stuff it took uh three months to get my emergency evacuation plan in place which is oh basically like God. if there's a fire how do i get out the building and it took them three months to yeah because it's like specific to a person isn't it yeah they also um left me and sunny in a fire and then they were like, the fire was four floors below. Stop being so dramatic. Fire moves <laughs> upwards. Yeah. And we like rang the like evacuation button and they just never picked up. It just never came to get us. It was crazy. But yeah. <laughs> but the course itself is very good. The two is are really nice. Like also the like culture here is like very nice. Yeah. Like the people are very nice and like collaborative as well. Um, it's just good vibes like yeah good vibes guys yeah it's good vibes good vibes i think this year in particular we have less teaching time Mm -hmm. i kind of wish that we had a bit more guidance although i do enjoy the new freedom like we had more freedom to pursue what we want to do i also feel like i also feel like we don't have enough time to use the workshops Mm -hmm. like because all our projects are very short like three weeks and the workshops are always booked in by other people and like i still haven't got to try many workshops i probably the workshops guys yes i probably <laughs> don't have the opportunity like after uni yeah especially for riso i really want to try it because apparently See? it's one of the two machines in the uk that prints in a a2, A2? yeah yes. yeah i just hope i will definitely try all the workshops before i graduate <laughs> that's like my goal for now i think that's everybody's goal on yeah the course. what are you looking forward to looking forward to um bettering myself as a person and like uh learning not to attach myself to my artwork because i feel like a lot of artists have this complex where like they like to um attach them because they don't see themselves as adequate they base all of their success and happiness off of their own artwork that they create so mm. I'm going to try and be be happy for myself and just like learn not that, that my artwork isn't everything. Like even though I really like doing drawing cartoons and stuff, like I'm, I'm also a separate person. That's such a wholesome answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, if I, 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 my answer would be like, oh, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's also a good one too. Lunch. Lunch is good. <laughs> Graduating. Gra- <gasps> I, I can't wait for it to be over. No, <laughs> I actually, no, but I can't wait for like our little caps and everything. I can't wait for that. <gasps> Are we going to decorate them? I sure hope so. Is I that, feel like, I think that's loud? like an art student, like, must. I feel like fashion students would do it though. Oh, they they like make they their would, own gowns. Yeah, they would <laughs> they, they would make the ones. whole thing. Yeah, and their fancy toilets. <laughs> they have the best toilets. On the, the best toilets. Fashion students at Kingston have the best toilets. Yeah, we only have one upstairs. Wait, actually, have you been to Graphic Design though? They have some nice toilets. Can you recommend a place to visit for inspiration? I live in a really rural area, so I'll often go on quite long walks and just try and explore the place I live and I find just going on walks and trying to really look at things quite closely things that usually find quite ordinary Mm -hmm. and I guess really trying to investigate them um I really love the sea Mm -hmm. I really really love the sea I want to go to the beach beach. so bad (laughs) there's something about it because it's like so quiet Mm -hmm. And like it was just like, like yeah, the waves, and then it's like mm. I just love the beach, and I love all the rocks. rocks. I love the rocks. We like rocks. We like the rocks. We like rocks. Like I really enjoy spending time in like woodlands and like brooks, stuff like that. Um, but I also quite enjoy looking at um, 
architecture when I'm in more urban spaces and so mm-hmm. trying to just find ordinary everyday stuff and finding inspiration from that. What's your favourite gallery slash museum slash exhibition in London or anywhere? Oh. I don't know. I'd say Tate Modern has been a bit of a hit and miss before. I think it sort of depends what kind of stuff they've got there. Yeah. Um, Tate Britain was the first gallery I went to, so mm. that's got quite a, a nice place in my heart. <laughs> what did you eat for breakfast? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I had a uh, chocolate bunny. <laughs> my first uh, Easter chocolate of the year. Nice. That's it? You just a, that's just the chocolate? Yeah? Okay. I didn't eat anything for breakfast. I... I don't I don't have breakfast for ages. I don't eat breakfast. <gasps> I never You don't do. eat I never eat, ever eat breakfast. Is that just like has that been like a long time thing or recently or No, forever. I don't ever eat breakfast. <laughs> so art students don't eat don't breakfast. Don't eat breakfast. Yeah, don't eat breakfast. <laughs> I eat breakfast. Um your special one. <laughs> Who do you think makes the best work in the course? <gasps> um, okay, cool. In general, like every about everything, the best work. It's a good question. Hmm. Who do you think makes the best work in the course? Who's being interviewed here? Me or you? You now. Mm. That's the, ooh, who makes the best work? Do I really have to name someone? I would say though, the, the first person that popped into my head is Yang Yang. I would say because I... Shout out to Yang Yang. Shout out to Yang Yang. Shout out to Yang Yang. Brain, amazing. And... You? Me! <laughs> Lucas, you can't see. You make nice stuff. Wait, are, um, you being, are you being serious? Yeah, I like no. your work. Really? Can I say you? Just to flat you. <laughs> You'll be like, ooh, not my work's so bad. <laughs> I think it's you. <laughs> Everybody say me. Yeah. No. You're just saying that to be nice. No. No. <laughs> now that's going to make me look like such a... Both. This, is, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's me, guys. No cap. I think Cree is great because he does his own thing and it, they're like his little animations and they're really cool and they're really well animated and they say a lot about him as a person yeah. and Cree was the first person I spoke to on the course and uh, yeah he's cool. Should we say it together? Well, I, I, love you. I love you Cree. I love you. I love you Cree. Cree if you're watching this. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you Cree ASMR. I love you so much. Do you have a picture of Cree? Insert. Insert picture of Cree. Actually, no, maybe Cree might not allow that. Insert drawing of Cree. I'm pushing the picture of Cree away. Okay. Okay, Adam, Adam, <laughs> sit back down. Adam! <laughs> <laughs> sit down! <laughs> chocolate cake or vanilla cake? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I think chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? Or vanilla cake. Did I say chocolate cake? Chocolate cake or vanilla cake. Chocolate. Why? Sorry, after answering those two questions, that just being read that question almost broke me. <laughs> I was just like, I was going to go back of like away from this, like thinking about my life choices now. <laughs> and now I'm going to think of like chocolate cake or vanilla cake. Uh... Chocolate cake all the way. Because have you ever had a devil's chocolate food cake mix? Like the devil's one? It's like Betty Crocker. Mm-hmm. Devilishly good or something. Oh my yeah. fucking god. So good. Literally so good. Ch- chocolate cake? Chocolate cake. Okay, and why? I don't know, I just really like chocolate. So if if somebody would come up to you with a big plate, one with the big chocolate cake and one with the big vanilla cake, you'd go straight <laughs> chocolate. Yes, I would snatch the plate out of them, yes.
What about the vanilla cake? It's like glistening, you know, sparkling. So they're both good. The only problem is, is like I don't really like, I don't really like cake to begin with. Oh, okay, I it's see. It's a bit too much for me. So what would you snatch a plate for? Oh. I would snatch a plate of. What would I snatch a plate of? A plate of peas. <laughs> Chocolate cake or vanilla cake? Maybe vanilla. Maybe. Vanilla? Yeah. Yes! Oh Maybe. my gosh! Everybody answers chocolate for this answer. And I'm just like... I like chocolate, but not in a cake form. Yeah, it's just like dry and doesn't even taste like chocolate. And it's just like... Eh. Yeah. Vanilla, I don't like chocolate, so... Yes, finally! Yeah, yeah. Has everyone else said chocolate? Yes. Lots, lots of people have said chocolate no cake. Taste. No taste I at all. I know, yeah. I know. Vanilla cake is just so... Although, when I make cakes for myself, I make plain, no flavorings. Which yeah. Which I feel like is the best. You know, you put a little icing on top, and mm-hmm. then that, that, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah. It's a very silly question. Yeah, it is a very silly question. I like it, though. Yeah. Everybody said chocolate. Really? I'm not, I'm not offended. You, would you like to be like devil advocate real quick, then? Because like, I do also really like vanilla. Yay, yeah, really? Yes, I like both. Oh, that's good. No, Look, I feel like weird. nobody like, talks about this. I like ice cream flavors. I definitely choose vanilla. Yes. Like everyone's like, oh no, vanilla's so boring. Oh, it's just vanilla. It's not boring though. It's really but nice. It's, it's nice. I feel like chocolate's I, too heavy. I like, yes. Yes. We need to speak about this, guys. Chocolate is a bit overwhelming sometimes. And, and it just ruins it. And sometimes... Some chocolate cakes are like dry mm. and they don't even taste like chocolate. It's just like, eh. and it's like, <laughs> what is this? But vanilla cake, I've never had a bad vanilla cake. I don't think I've had a vanilla cake. That's the thing. Like I say vanilla because lots of people are like, what's vanilla? Like, I mean, like, you know, Victoria sponge, like something mm. like that. Oh, that's like, why. I'm, no, yeah, definitely then. Yeah, definitely vanilla cake then. Yeah. Like Sorry, a... I would like change my answer. Like... <laughs> yes, I got Peter to the vanilla side. Just said Victoria Sponge. Like, yes, definitely. <laughs> Those things are amazing. <laughs> Who's your favorite artist, if you have one? I can say that name because he is a director, but I think he's included. He's a director. So I guess everyone knows him. Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson. Wes yeah. Anderson. So I think I have a few. Um, one of my favorite artists at the moment um is sean tan yeah i have a favorite illustrator focused on the picture book and his name is jimmy from china Ooh, modigliani comes to mind because i do quite like like portraits and faces and stuff mm-hmm. but i don't know if you've like seen any of his work before but he um basically like his portraits are like eyes mm-hmm. eyeless like there's mm-hmm. no eyes and he won't paint in someone's eyes unless he knows them oh. so and i just found that like concept quite interesting like oh. eyes of the windows of the soul and quite like deep i was like you know mm-hmm. so i've been quite into his work recently i think did you yeah i, th- I don't even think i have to explain that now because he's just that awesome but yeah i'll talk that through <laughs> um i first know him while i was in middle school so the first film i watched was the grand budapest hotel yeah. and i was so shocked that someone actually make a film into that sort of vibe and atmosphere like he's making a film into an animation vibe thing and like how he composite how he makes the composition real and how he lay out the background the characters like it's just genius like like i want to say like he's really yeah. such a genius and his work his film has like a really huge impact on my art pieces on my personal mm-hmm. works like just jimmy yeah he <laughs> he does like picture book for all ages yeah. so not only for children um i think he's australian but i could be wrong mm-hmm. um but he does a lot of i work about kind of like fantastical surreal creatures um, she's a singaporean uh illustrator but she also works in spain i think her name is uh pixin wang pixin and she did like uh art therapy and she used to run like uh art workshops for children and I almost worked with her, but wow. I don't like children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so okay. She makes really great illustrations, so I really like her. Yeah. And she also sews. And she gave me a bunch of her stuff that she made, and yeah. I really like her. Nice. Let me think. We'll be back after a short <laughs> break. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, this is going on YouTube. <laughs> You're going to cut it down. Yes. It's going to be long winded. Long- cut out the bit about Doc Martin. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just cut all your answers. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like. The next person. <laughs> so- <laughs> it's just going to be me. <laughs> um, um, my fit. I should bro, you like, off bro, like, add like layers in the video. <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is the worst interview ever, guys. Like, okay, I'm interviewing such a diva right now. Okay. Why is this bad? Okay, what's been bad about it? Is this actually your worst interview? No, it's the most fun though. <laughs> you can cut it out if you want. Um, I've got to do a lot of editing for this one. <laughs> I can help if you want. Do it for the views. Okay. Dude, this is going to get you famous. <laughs>